In this video, we're gonna show you how we turn this piece of wood to this amazing minimalist desk for both working and a little bit of gaming. <laughs> if you wanna learn how to build a desk or just to see the end result, stick around. So we actually started with sanding. I made this terrible cut, so we had to fix it up. So this was actually my first woodworking project and I learned one of the most important parts of it was sanding. And I'm sure I didn't do it 100% right, but that's expected. We started with 80 grit sandpaper, move up to 120, then 150 and lastly 180. If I were to do it again, I would go even higher to remove small scratches and imperfections. When the table was clean, we moved on to staining the wood. I started on the top side of the table just to learn how to do it and so I could do the top better. Uh, we used the simple rag method uh, that I learned online and it seemed to work pretty well. We actually ended up applying three coats of stain just so it looks darker. And this is how it looked after the first coat of the protective. I used the water-based polyurethane finish, which is just easier to clean and uh, it gives it a good shine and protection. I let it rest for the night, have a good cup of coffee in the morning and clean the table. Then put on the third coat of the protective. It was actually pretty fun because you could see the table looking better and better after each coat. I ordered some legs while it dried and this is how it looked after the third coat. To be honest, I was pretty satisfied with the result and didn't expect it to end up this way, but I was happy. Next morning, the legs arrived pretty fast, so we started unpacking it. It was pretty hard. For some reason, I broke the scissors. I don't even know how. It took us about five to ten minutes with my little brother to unpack it so this is the time lapse we finally managed to get them out and moved it into my room we started removing everything from my desk so we could put in the new desk and set it up. Yeah, shout out to Dakota by the way. She didn't help out much to be honest. <laughs> we made space for the new table and moved it in. It was my first time using the drill so I was actually pretty excited about it. <laughs> As everything it was pretty simple, just a small tutorial on YouTube, figured the, figuring out the tool and how it works, and yeah, it was pretty fun. We turned around the table, flipped it over. and set it up in the right place. As you can see, it was much bigger than my last one. Of course, I had to install my LED strips. We're pretty big fans of LED right here, so it was pretty fun. I then tested out the lights to make sure they worked. 
it was starting to look pretty good. I then installed some velcro tape both on my controller and under the table. It's pretty simple and easy to do. Some cable management. And that's it. This was an incredibly fun project to undertake and let me know if you want to see more. Um, I have a few crazy ideas. Uh, I've actually been thinking to build a house, a small house by myself. I'm, of course with my friends and some help from family, but yeah, that would be pretty fun. Let me know if you want to see it. Remember to subscribe if you like this type of content and yeah, let's do some more crazy stuff and let's live a good life.